Hello everyone, it is Friday. I'm, I'm trying y'all. It is December 31st. I don't know where I get Friday from. Don't it seem like the 31st should be on a Friday? But it is December 31st. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. What's up? So, I'm going to make some copies of some flyers that we have. So, we'll chat some more when I get back in the truck. <clears throat> Hope everybody is doing well. We are out and about a little bit. I'm wanting to do a last, our last video of the year. So, we'll chat soon. Fishing. Didn't you go fishing yesterday? Okay. How much fish did you catch? Overachiever. Happy New Year. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So we're in the trailer coming by to see what items we need for our new year. What do you say? Okay. So we're in here just looking to, I already did this, um, the out, you know, the one look of everything, looking at our stock and see what we got, what we need for this upcoming year. And we are pretty, pretty good on a lot of things. You know, it's just certain little things that we need and I have all those written down. So I just wanted to come and get a good look before the new year come in. I haven't been here in two weeks. Charles has been here, you know, checking it out and making sure everything is okay. And that's how he does. So I see some of the things. I know we need some um, small pans and sugar for our tea because I did not um, leave that in here in case some ants or something and I didn't want any issues, you know not being here constantly working everything even though I do close it up and bag it up real good so but I still um, didn't leave the sugar in here so we will go and get um, this done and we'll probably stop back by to bring the pans and um, the sugar and stuff so I'm getting ready to head to the show Charles is out there putting some stuff on the tires doing something so we're just going to talk today about our year and how it was for us so we can get ready just wanted to stop by talk to you soon Thinking about from where we started, when we started out our business, how do you feel about when we first started to what we know now? We were we were green. I feel we have come a long way with 
business wise, but with cooking wise. My macaroni has changed and it has come a long way. I've been doing it a long time. You know, but the longer you do something, you just get mm -hmm. better and better at it. So. Mm -hmm. so I know my macaroni has changed for the better. Um, and of course, adding our tea. I just used to make the tea and, you know, adding things to it. And any chef or person in the food business or whatever, you do and thing you do things to make your business better. And by doing that, you start, you know, doing little different things. When we first started, you could be cooking a long time, but you still can come. You still can get other tips, you know. Mm -hmm. Other ideas gonna come to you, you know. You can, well, I do it this way, you know. Yeah. The longer it takes you to cook something, you can, you know how to fix it. But you can cook it a little quicker. It don't take all the hours like you know we used to take. Just you know, stop now. After you learn and know what your temperature, and know what you need to set it and all. Yeah, you look at it like you know what I could do this a little better. Next time, and and as for all that seasoning that you know we watch, we watch a lot of TV and a lot of different um, people doing their cooking of the different things. I. Everybody gonna try, you know, different rubs and different seasoning stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you just sometimes just do your own. Yeah, I putting so much. At, you some people. But it's 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 if you put a whole lot on it, it gonna make your meat more pretty and all. Just don't a whole lot of salt. Don't put too much salt. The sea salt, it burns, and that will makes it black. The meat don't be cooked black. This the salt burning. So you can put a lot of rub on. That's I put a rub on mine, but you know, always do it the next. Cook it the next day. I so you put your rub and stuff on it, and you let it rest yes. until the next day, and then you put it on. According to how they feel, they feel you know that it works for them, but. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's just sweet. That's just that's just a little bit. Every, every grill got their own way of doing things. Yes. No grill are gonna cook the same. No. Even if you watch someone else and you watch how they do it, you do what they do. You still gonna add something else. You gonna do something that you, you feel is you don't cook your way so long, you so it's still gonna kick over. Oh, this is the way I had to. Yeah. But it's good to get other ideas, you know. Yeah. Charles been cooking for and grilling for a while. Well, you know, a long, long while. But as far as like our business, we've grown with our business as far as knowing what, you know, on the business side of things, what we need to do is it's a lot, like this month is December and we, you know, had to renew our license and have so many things that we have to do that I have, I have my business book, you know, this is my 2019, 2020 business book. And we have so many different things we have to do. Keep up with, you know, who you have a membership with, keep up with all your um, paperwork, tax season is here. It's just a lot of things that you have to do that when we first started, I didn't know everything that entailed for having a business. When we first started, we did not have our spot. We got our spot probably about six months after we started our business. We didn't have our spot as um, soon as we started. So we were trying to find a place you know, to run our business and everything. And it was it was tedious. So we know that some of you are going through that right now, trying to find that right place and trying to find, you know, where am I going to sell? Is this place gonna be good and everything? It does take time. Nothing happens overnight. Nothing happens overnight. 
when it's um comes to your business. Mm -hmm. So we, <clears throat> I worked and did some flyers. Even though we have our business, you still got to do advertisement. We do um, on social media, but it's nothing like going to meet people face to face, different businesses, and you give out flyers and tell them what you all about and you know to get more um, customers coming your way. It's a new decade, you got to you got to keep putting your foot to the metal. You never stop. You just don't sit down and just say, okay, where well, the people will come, you know, whoever. Lord send they'll come or whatever. You got to you got to do your due your, diligence. Your footwork. That's right. You gotta do our footwork too. So we're um as I was, you know, doing our business plan and writing out all of our um things that we have to do, what we wanna accomplish in, you know, this coming year. Because even though it's just another day, it is another decade, and it is, you know, it's just like you really start fresh. We've been off for a couple of weeks and trying to think and, you know, what can we do different or, you know, things that are working, continue to do those and amp it up a little bit. So we are, um, that's with any business. I'm quite sure a lot of people do that too. You just don't want to stay the same and get stagnated. You want to do things a little different. So that's why we did um, reach out. My husband, Charles, reached out to this um, company and, you know, trying to. And we found another place. Yes. Go, you know, a couple of different places and doing something a little different. See how it works. You know, if you see, we if we there and it's doing great, that's beautiful. If it happens to, you know, kind of slow down or whatever, then you just move on and you go from there. That's one great thing about having a food trailer, food truck, food trailer. You can move around. As long as you get permission. Just go, and just go parking up in front of somebody's place and, and you don't have permission and you end up having, you know, fines and if different issues and stuff. Getting out doing your footwork, the days that you're off, and getting it done. As we kept moving on with our business, um, our equipment changed on the inside. We decided to um, upgrade some to help us out better. So it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that you have to do to keep in care It's our business, right? We want to thrive, so that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. We have students coming from um, the high school and coming by, getting food on their way home. Thank you. So, it's greatly appreciated. Different, we live in Florida and it's a diverse state, so we do have a lot of different people. And, and you know, if you have people come up, what is collards? And, What, what do you have in your potato salad? Because some people just do potatoes and maybe, you know, some bell peppers or something. Some people don't put eggs in it like we do and, you know, mustard and different things. So, explaining to people what you got, because you have to, because people want to know what's in it. You know, people have a lot of allergies and that's something else if you um, have different things inside your food. You have to make that known to um, the customers. You don't want anybody having no allergic reactions to um, certain things. I especially say that with my tea because we have orange in them and we have some people who 
are allergic to different things. At the trailer, we brought the pans and we did buy some more of the small cups and the sugar. We needed some or some forks and stuff. I did not mean to get the one with salt and pepper. That was a boomer on my part. And then we got some paper towel. So that was what we had. We are finished with today. We went and shopped and did what we needed to do for our upcoming opening back up for the new year. Everything has been put away. And again, I'm aggravated that I bought this pork set with salt and pepper and I have salt and pepper but what can you do I'm not taking it back now if it was close by I would have took it back so we are getting ready to close the trailer up and head on and get ready for this new year to come in thank you for being a part of our um, last day of the new year you just gonna leave that And we are calling it a day. We want to thank everyone for being a part of our journey that we are on and continued blessings to everyone. Have a safe, blessed, and happy new year. God bless you. Blessings always, and until next, blessings.